So you may have heard before from your classes that x to the negative 1 power means 1 over x. And the question I want to answer today is, why is that true? And we can prove that x to the negative 1 power indeed has to equal 1 over x. So the way to do this is start with 1 over x. And first I'm just going to rewrite x as x to the 1 power, so no big change there. The next thing is sort of the trick with all of this is I want to rewrite everything with x's. So in particular, that 1 on the top, I want to rewrite that as an x. And the way to do that is to write 1 as x to the 0 power. Uh, if you don't know that x to the 0 power is 1, I have a video on that and that explains why that's true. But indeed, x to the 0 power is 1. And now, when you've got variables with powers and you're dividing them, you can take the power on top and subtract the power on bottom. And then there we go. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. And I just showed that 1 over x equals x to the negative 1 power. And of course, there's nothing special about negative 1 power. If you do x to the negative a for any number a, you can show that this has to equal 1 over x to the a. So let's do it. You can do it exactly the same way. First, start with 1 over x to the a. And we'll rewrite 1 as x to the 0 power. And then you take the power on top, subtract the power on bottom, and there you go. You get negative a power. So I hope that makes sense. If you have questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And also, if you like these kind of topics about showing why things are true, I recommend you check out a couple of my other videos. I've got one about why does x to the 0 equal 1, and also one about why is x to the 1 half power mean square root of x. All right, thanks everyone. Have a good day.